Would you say you're not that influenced by other people and that your behavior is a result of you doing what you want to do? Well, years of psychology research would say you're probably more influenced by others than you think. And so if we want to know how to change behavior, we should be aware of what's called the power of conformity. This is conformity. And a classic study on this topic was done by a guy named Solomon Ash. And participants in this study were asked to look at the length of a line and then answer out loud about which of the three lines to the right of it was equal to in length. And the lines on the right weren't that similar in size. So for example, it went something like this. You would see a line like this one. And then to the right, you would see three other lines. So one might be this one, another might be that one, and another might be that one. And then you would say, which of these three is most similar in size to this one? So it's number one, right? Pretty easy. Well, the interesting thing is that before answering, there were a few other people who are called confederates, and they were working for the study and answered out loud with an obviously wrong answer. So for example, they might say number two. The first few times they answered with the right answer, but then they began one by one saying the same wrong answer. So what happened? Well, the participant who was asked to respond to the length of the line wound up giving the same wrong answer as the Confederates. This is known as conforming. And over 74% of people conformed at least one time. 74% conformed at least one time. Did people really believe that their answers were right? Or did they lie about the size of the line to not feel dumb by disagreeing with the Confederates who answered before them? Well, in another study, the participant was told he came in the room late, and he therefore needed to write his responses to the size of the line. So he was writing them as opposed to saying them out loud. And the important point there is that by writing them, he didn't have to share them out loud with the group. Well, in this case, even though participants still heard the Confederates giving the wrong answers, rates of conformity when writing, when writing rates of conformity dropped by two thirds. So this shows that the power's conformity is influenced by our fear or discomfort that others will know that we're being different. Now, here's a picture of the studies. You're probably saying to yourself, this was done a long time ago, and people are different now, right? Well, yes, it was done back in 1951, but people probably aren't that different now. So a more recent version of the study uh, that uses Facebook, and I'll show you pictures of Mila Kunis to help explain it. Here we go. Let's look at those pictures. So in a number of studies... Young and Jordan had Stanford University students look at their friends and peers' Facebook pictures. And let's pretend that the students at Stanford were friends with Mila Kunis. So half of the students saw pictures of their peers in normal situations, such as giving a talk. It looks like she's giving a talk there. Uh, smiling in a classroom or being on vacation. The other half of students saw pictures of their peers in more suggestive, sexually suggestive pictures. So making a little kissy face or even something a little more explicit even. Students were then asked how likely their friends are to engage in unprotected sex and how likely they would be themselves to engage in it. Well, what happened? Well, the Stanford students who saw their peers in the sexually suggested pictures, they were more likely to think that their friends had unprotected sex, and they were more likely to say they themselves would have unprotected sex. So what do we take home from this on how to change behavior? Well, first, we're influenced by others, so if we want to change behavior, we have to understand the power of social influence. Second, in the ASH studies, it was important to have the Confederates first respond with the correct answer to gain the trust from the participants. People won't conform unless there's a standard set up for them to not want to be different. And then third, in the Young and Jordan study, we found that conforming to others doesn't just exist in a psychology lab. It extends to really important behaviors like health behaviors, 
where if we conform, we could be at risk for disease and even death.